Welcome back everybody to another episode of The Infected and in today's episode the plan is to get our food cans all filled up, the fruit salads, the veggie salads, and start crafting the meat stew. So as you can see here I took out all our watermelon plants and I planted potatoes, cucumbers, and corn so they should be growing and I put all our watermelons and melons inside the containers and so we can start crafting our fruit salad with the watermelon and melons but first I need to go catch some fish so I do have a few dried fish on me but we need to have raw fish and I plan on like filling up a container of fish and probably use that as spoilage so one thing I ended up doing is I cleared out the oil extractors and I put the oil extractor here. I do need to turn it on. And so I did find out that the mineral extractors can take this oil here. So now I think it's time so I don't have to go out fishing. I don't have to worry about the spoilage that I kind of want to build another oil extractor so I can get oil, so I can use them for our mineral extractors. And I'm probably gonna place this back over by the copper site. So we're gonna make a visit to the copper site. And I do also wanna put another extractor down on the copper site, as we do have enough irons and we should be able to craft both of those in today's episode. So yeah, I'm gonna take this container. We're gonna head over to our fishing spot, catch some fish and hopefully quite a bit because I would like to fill up our refrigerators today with all three items and then plus probably eat some meat stew so hopefully there's a lot extra as I need to start getting our health up to the 200. I mean our health's not that bad there's sometimes like I come close to dying when I'm carrying a chest and I can't drop it down fast enough and I can't switch to my spear so I do get attacked by the bear or the fox. They like to attack me a lot while I'm carrying something. But yeah, this is our fishing spot here. It's pretty good. Like, I mean, I could catch a lot of fish. So I can use a lot of it for spoilage, I think. Oh, I thought I had another chest here. Yeah, but here's the chest, empty. So I got two chests here. We'll see how much we can fill it up. So let's go grab some fish. I know it's murky down here. We need some clearer looking water. And all the fish are swimming away from me. Let's catch this fat one here. It's our first fish of the night. So fishing's actually not too bad. I think it's probably better than doing the crocodiles. Because fish you get a lot of protein. 35 protein compared to the crocodile meat which is 25 total but I guess you don't get any fats from the fish so I think with the mixture of having the crocodile meat and the fish meat we should be like all set oh I got juked out no we still got them And then you want to make sure that you have an empty backpack so then you can catch a bunch of fish. So then once when I get all these fish caught and then fill up our backpack, I'm going to harvest them, put it into the container. And hopefully I don't fish out the spot. I've always seen fish here, so... I'm really not sure if, I know that they respawn, but I don't know if we lose them by fishing too much in the spot. For maybe like a day or something till they respawn again. But I think it's unlimited and we will find that out today. And so why I'm doing the fishing first, because it is October. And so we're about to hit winter time, which means frozen water, we can't swim, no more fish, fish get frozen. 
Man, we're catching a lot. Okay, I think those are just birds I'm following. Following shadows. Okay, let's go see how much we got. I feel like we got a lot there. Oh, perfect timing. Let's drop them all on the ground. We are going to be loaded today. Okay, wash up the fish. Shh. Harvest them out. And I actually don't know like how fish is cooked and all that. How they're chopped up. Because I'm not really a seafood person. I saw, like we went fishing one time and one of my coworkers just went up straight up, chopped up the fish and I was like, oh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna watch. <laughs> this is gross. Hey, we're almost full already. That was actually a pretty good fishing session. So we don't need to go for too much longer. I just need to catch a few more fish. I mean, I guess I can fill up my backpack again and then take it back. So we don't need to just have the chest container filled. Let's see if I can catch any. Uh-oh, starting to disappear. We only got the blue gills left, the baby ones. I wish it had like this view where it was nice and clean. I don't like how it's murky. I mean, yeah, this is probably what you're going to see in a river like this. But I'd rather have it clear for the video. He got sniped. Anybody else? We got a dead fish at the bottom that I just dropped down. There we go. Now more just respawn. There we go. On a roll. Baby minnow. Lost him. Sometimes you go a little bit too fast for them, and then other times you can't keep up. And then there's those times you just snipe them from the top as they're just chilling there. Okay, don't see any more. Let's see what our harvest is. Did see two watermelons over there. I'm not gonna grab them. Gotta stay on point. So I'm going to harvest these out. Hopefully I'll have enough room to get some crocodile meat. And then we can start crafting our beef stew if our potatoes are ready. There we go. Awesome. Now we'll go get some crocodile meat. Even though like a bunch of fish are spawning. So yeah, I think fishing's not that bad. I just don't want to add it to the list of stuff that I need to do on the daily. 
even though I dropped out on doing the mineral extractor oil, which is the biofuel. And I haven't really crafted that in a while. I'm scared whenever something runs at me. Because I've been getting attacked by bears and coyotes quite a bit. Okay, so now we need to get some meat. Like, I should probably try to go after the deer. That produces four total meat. Because we probably have 20 total spots that we need to fill up. And that is in our refrigerator. I was just checking, it's gonna rain. And so looking at the times, cause I was trying to watch and see if the rain was on the cycle and I wasn't able to figure it out. Cause I did have one rain begin, rainstorm begin at 12 minutes. And then the next one didn't happen for another 35 minutes. And so I don't know if I missed one in between. But it seems like it's raining like every 30 minutes. But maybe it's just by what day it is. That's the time it's going to rain. Okay, let's try to sneak up. Be quiet, guys. Be very, very quiet. We are hunting deer. <laughs> nice throw. Oh, and he ran away. He knew he was going to get sniped. We had to stick it right into that tree. Okay, he's running too far away. I hear one, but I... Oh, there he is. Trying to blend in with the rocks. So that'll give us 10 pieces of meat. I need 10 more. Let's go ahead and start crafting our, hopefully, if we can, get some meat stew. Are you ready? Not ready. They should be close to ready because I planted them last night. See, a couple of them are ready there. We got some potatoes ready. So it's the time to craft some beef stew. Let's see what we need. We need to get the stew mix, raw meat, raw fish, potato. Okay, we got 12 potatoes that are ready. It is October, so we're probably gonna have another day to be able to do another potato pick. And I need to remember to pick the items before it becomes winter. Cause I don't know if I am, but I think I'm low on potatoes cause I really don't pick them up out in the world. I think we get enough sustenance from the cucumbers, watermelons, and melons. But now we get to craft some beef stew, which I'm super excited for. Bring some cans. I did craft a bunch more cans, like 20 more, so we can get them all fit into everything. So potato, meat, stew mix. But I'm pretty sure we have to go cook this. So I would like to craft one of these at least. It would be nice to have our first taste. And of course I'm gonna eat the first one. So I do need to craft more. 25 plus. Okay, starting to get thirsty. I don't think I have my water bottle. And so I do want to craft at least two stoves, not today, in time. Because then I, I won't have to move these. I could just keep the pans on, 
keep the pots on. All we gotta do is move it to wash some dishes. But since we don't have any sinks, we're not washing no dishes. Okay, light you up. Then we got our stew mix. Okay, we will let that cook up. Let's go grab some more meat. I kind of want to go get the bow and shoot this guy. <laughs> oh, trap him, trap him. That didn't work too well. Dead deer. Thank you very much. Okay, there we go. Our first beef stew mix. Gonna be tasty. that cook up then I think we got to put these in cans now and I'm actually gonna eat one of my first beef stews see what it does mm, our fats went way up there plus one health there So we're going to start eating more beef stews all the time. I love beef stew. Super duper good. Okay, we need potatoes. No potatoes are ready. There should be two right here that's ready. Plant these back in. Now we can make our next stew mix. Two more. Okay, maybe we can't can our beef stew. Cause it's not coming up so i think these might just go into the refrigerator which is pretty good because then i don't have to can them i thought i was going to need cans but yeah i guess we can just drop it in so we can put 20 total then next I'm going to need to start crafting some veggie mix. As you can saw that we're not going to be able to craft any fruit salad. So let's go ahead and eat these. October fall still. I think I'm just waiting on these potatoes to be ready. Which should be any time. So I guess we're not filling up the fridge tonight and before the winter starts, but it's fine. I'm not going to have a problem during winter. Just would be nice to have everything in here. So I got to craft at least 110 so then we can get our health up to the max, which is 200. It's all the veggie mix I have, and then our fruit salads. So I mean, we're good. And I've only been taking out of here, here and there. Yeah, and you can see like, all my meats are now filled on every rack. So I'm glad I went to go add fishing to be part of our protein mix because yeah, I was able to keep the racks kind of full with just the crocodile meat, but now with the fish, it lasts so much longer. Okay, so our final set of the night. Okay, do you want to get all this meat hung? 
and then I mean I'm hoping that I have spaces on this drying rack over here running out of room 21 minutes I'm missing something. I was missing something. I guess we're bringing everything over then. Don't want to mate, waste no meat. And I could probably put these in a chest. I could actually probably put them in a refrigerator. Then like anytime we need protein, we're gonna have protein. Now that I want rain, no rain. Okay, we'll get our cans put away. I thought I was gonna be able to do more. I got some spoilage. I need like have a spoilage container over here too. We got fish in there. These are going to spoil. So I should just throw this spoilage inside that container. And it is getting dark. We got our headlamp. Not summertime. So I think we take a quick nap. Because our energy is still high. And then head over to the copper mineral extractor. And I do want to take a chest over. And I don't think I showed you guys, but this is where I'm just throwing all my empty chest in the back there. So I can kind of keep this organized. We have all this being glass. I brought some aluminum back. Okay, mineral extractor, 20 iron ignits. Then I am going to make an oil extractor over at the copper site. So then I could just have oil producing over there all the time. Four iron, eight cobalt, 15 aluminum, six mechanical parts. Four, eight, 15, six, 20. And I got planks over there already. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, put this in our bridge. We'll go take a nap, head on over to the copper site. There we go, 2.20 AM. We only had to sleep for not that long as our energy was already high. So you can see I, I need more water. Really, really bad. But not gonna do that now because we're on a mission. We are gonna go ahead and put a mineral extractor and an oil extractor on the copper site. So we'll see you over there. Okay, so one thing I do wanna start doing is I'm gonna put ghost images up. What's this ghost image for? So this is gonna tell me that when I hit this spot, I need to go this way, because I do sometimes get lost in this area here, and I start going up north too high, south sometimes. No, that's north. North over here too much, or south too much. So I would like to just have a site. Okay, I know where this is, and then Where's the pointy tooth? Then I go this way. That's the plan. Except for I lost my chest, man. So I kind of know the path to go this way. Sometimes I get lost on the path coming back because I do take a different route. And I take the route going on top of this hill here and I jump off. And that's basically just the way that I take, because I take the other side of the mountain coming back. And I would like to take the same path coming back. And I don't know how to get to this path. Let's put this down. 
Another ghost image. But yeah, I don't know how to get back coming around this way. I don't even know how to get to this part here. I haven't really tried norm like all the time it directs me to go on the other side of the mountain. So it'd be nice to start taking the same path every time so I don't get lost. And by putting in these ghost images, it's gonna help a million times. We should be coming up on it. Oh, I need to put that down. So I think it's back here now, the chest. That one, I could see all the ghost images. Okay. I think one more will do. So normally I take the path going right next to the lake. And I think that's why I end up on the right side of the mountain. Okay, and then welcome to our secret build. We did get up to the 10th story. So tonight I do want to start building on this side and seeing if I can meet up with it. And then the next future time, I'll probably build another one going to the top and that way. Another one coming up from that way. And then we can fill this all in, in time. But today we're going to work on that side building up. But first I'm going to go ahead and drop down our next mineral extractor. So next time they're empty, I'm probably going to start lining them up. Make it look better. Okay, here we go. Thought we were going to go. Are we going nowhere? Because that is for our oil extractor. So let's get that placed. So I think I'm going to start building these oil extractors at the sites and then not even have to worry about biofuel. Then I just need to worry about getting a little bit more power into the base. I mean, we got a lot of power, excess storage. Or storage capacity. And then let's turn you on. Okay, now that we should be empty, we can collect the material, drop it off. So I started moving containers over here, as you can see. All our full containers of coal. This is full container of aluminum as I brought a chest back from the aluminum site. So you can see I did the same thing going to the aluminum site. We might go check that out. Go see how that site's doing. So I'm so glad that this uses oil too. Because then I think I'm going to give up on the biofuel and just start crafting, again, these oil oil extractors. What am I missing here? Eight planks. Okay, we got our saw machine up at the top. Because I think I'm going to move this around. So like I can move it over here into a dense patch. 
Hopefully I have an axe. Chop all these down. Rather than running them over there, coming back, running back and forth, I think this is going to save some time. So I can probably chop down this little section, start filling up the planks, and then I'm actually going to take this to the other side, so then we're closer to our planks as we do our next build to the top. And I hope it lines up, and I hope it looks good. Now, will it? <laughs> it should. Okay, we'll let that run while we fill up our next mineral extractor. There we go, we got three on copper. Power on, your power on. I'm gonna wait for these to die to line them up. And it does look like we are ready. Oh yeah, and then I, like I said, I organized this place out. So I want to try to stay organized. I don't remember where my empty chests are. Oh, right here, just lining up. And then all these chests just have random stuff in them. Don't really care about organizing that stuff out just yet. Okay, let's fill this up and then I'll go make a quick run, go check on the aluminum site. Because I do kind of need to keep up on this aluminum and copper. Because cobalt I check on here and there because it's really close. And then if I'm going fishing, I might as well check on the cobalt extracted there, even though I didn't check on it today. Because I was kind of rushing, I really wanted to get that meat stew done which it was very tasty. So many rocks. And then I will probably take this container back. Didn't turn that one on. So we need six total oils. So I'm thinking if I put an oil extractor here too, I really don't need to be running the stuff all over anymore. Okay, our aluminum extractor should be good. Let me just make sure that is full. We can take our aluminum back and then just follow the path. Man, that's monstrous. That looks so cool. I can't wait for this pyramid to be done. Okay, aluminum there. Now we gotta get our planks, move our circular saw to the other side, and then we're gonna start chopping down on the other side. I don't wanna take any of our initial trees to put on the saw bench, and this looks like a perfect spot right here. We got some big trees, so that's 20 logs. So that's going to be 80 total planks that we'll get just from these four trees. If my math is correct, because we get five per, which means 20 logs. Yeah. Four planks per log. So this just alone is going to build us quite a few planks or quite a few stories up I don't know it's actually like a really good spot so I probably do plan on making this mobile everywhere whenever I'm doing a project build 
I just think that's like the way to go. Uh, we do need to go back tonight. So I might not finish up on this build. We'll try to get as much as we can because I got to harvest our crop. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and chop down a bunch of trees around this area and then we'll get this built up. Probably fast forward in it so you guys can see everything. Okay, checking up with you guys. We are on the one, two, three, fourth floor. It is 2.40 p.m. Probably gonna build like two or three more total floors up. And then we'll head back to the base. And you can see I've already gotten all the wood that I chopped down. So gotta go back into chopping simulator, chop all these down. So yeah, after I'm done chopping the wood down, like I should have done more. Like I like to chop down a bunch so then I don't have to bring out my axe anymore. Just come on up, fill up the stairs, fill up the walls, make sure we got some planks. And then it's just a bunch of up downs. I could get our iron ignite cart or a wood log cart. But I think it's going to be difficult to try to maneuver it up these stairs. And I don't really don't mind. And I don't think it takes that much longer to jump down, grab three logs. Because you could basically get three times the amount, almost four times the amount with the log carrier. And so if I do this this little turn there clean then I get up here pretty fast but it's when I fall down on that first floor which you guys saw a bunch of times in that fast forward if you guys were able to see the fast forward
Getting up there. What? A bird's already perching at the top? I think I don't have my arrows. We'd have to take them down. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and continue on up. I just got like a few more hours in me. It is 3.55. I should start heading out by 6. So this might be like our last level. Because I really got to get back and fill up. Not fill up. I got to get back to... Take out everything from our farming plots, or they're all gonna die. And I think that happens tonight. So, yeah, then over here, it's like perfect. I love having this circular saw and being able to move it around. Because we basically have had a lot of material from just like four trees that I cut down, and I can cut these two down. That will produce us another 40 planks and just fill that up got a, enough planks in our backpack make sure we grab more logs and up to the top but yeah i am building this one quite a bit faster because I actually know what I'm doing now. Then last time when like four of it was like taking me forever to do. Got to key out, keep an eye out on the time, 4.30. I know I said the last, last one was going to be the last one, but <laughs> this is going to be the last one. Not going to fill these up all the way. So we're going to have the stairs run straight up. Fill you up. Fill you up with planks. Fill you up. Okay, let's get out of here. And I'm probably going to come back. Like I'm going to make a quick trip. Pull all our plants. Come back so I can finish this out. Because I really want to connect these tonight. That is the plan. So we will see you back at the base, but first, so what I was talking about is I know that the path to go, I usually go right along this lake, but I'm actually going to try the path that we took and see if this is good. So I like to have, be able to see all the ghost images. So this one's pointing over here. See the next one. And then it's not going to 100% line up. But as long as it's close enough to where I can see where our next ghost image is. And I think this one's going to be a while. Because I know it's running to the left side of the mountain. Here's our next one. I did put it high on the hill so I can see it. And then especially during the night. The night time, it's so dark and you could really see the ghost images. So it's kind of cheating the system, but not really. Hopefully it doesn't make the ghost images invisible so we can't see it. All right, so we'll see you back at base. Okay, let's pick the potatoes first, because I do have potatoes in here. Now I'm not going to replant anything. I can see we are needing something, most likely the drink. Okay, I think we got enough energy and we can work through the night. So let's go back to our copper extraction. We'll go pick up some more aluminum from there. Maybe grab a copper. I think I'll probably grab a copper next. I should have a container filled with copper. So we'll see you at the copper extraction site. Okay, so we made it back just in time to our main base because now we are freezing. And I need to craft some clothes over here because I don't have our jacket. So I do need to grab a jacket. Okay, well, I'm going to head back to base. You won't see any of this. 
and we'll probably come back here on the next day to continue and hopefully get to the top of our build. Okay, we are back at the copper extraction site. It is 5.30 a.m. So let's try to get this done, connected to the top by the end of today. I did end up having to spend the night back at our base. I ended up getting our energy and thirst and all that all filled up. So then we're ready for a nice long day over here. Probably going to chop more trees down. And I can probably move the circular saw right next to these logs here. I mean, is it that far to move that many logs? I'm lazy, man. I'm lazy. There we go, closer. I really do like this trick a lot better than running all the logs to a bunch of log holders. And then I could just come pick it up once when I need our planks. Except for now I'm starting to get pushed back with just regular logs. Probably start cutting over there next. And there's our one feather that we needed. But then I would have needed an iron ignit to craft the workbench table. And I had no iron ignits here. But yeah, just barely made it back to camp because we were freezing and I didn't bring a jacket or sweats. So we got that on now. So now we should be really good to get our build, get it up to the top. We're not too far away from actually meeting the top. So let's go ahead and get this built out. You'll probably see it in fast forward motion. Okay, we are getting very close to the top. 
It does look like we're going to reach it in another one or two, so I might be a little too high. Which is why I wanted to build this and get the layout done first from the four sides. But man, this is going to be so massive and so cool. Okay, probably thirsty. Eat all our watermelons. We can have a fish. Corn. Health. More corn. We're good. I'm starting to get these stairs down. And then when I start talking and thinking in my head, oh yeah, I got them down. I can do this really fast. That's when I fall. But actually the past few have been really, really fast going up. Other than one of them. Like I said, when I start thinking about it, then I fall. So it's basically sprint up this one, go slow. Sprint up this one, go slow. Sprint up this one. See? I got the rhythm down. This build's actually going up really, really fast. Get all the planks filled up. Probably go pick up more planks. Drop more off inside the plank holder. And I'm going to take you to the end when we get it connected because we are so close. Make sure these planks get loaded. So I know the side that I'm going to struggle on is probably going to be over here as there's no real forest. Should have picked up some logs. Like at least there's like a forest back here that I was able to cut. But I mean, we have like some small trees here, but none of the bigger trees anywhere close. So I think the next side that I'm going to work on is the right side. <laughs> so we can get that done. fast like how we're doing this fast at least I think it's going fast I do hope no snowstorms please no snowstorms I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to survive like I will probably have to run home I could be wrong but what I notice is snow no Snowstorms happen in January and February, and more in February. I haven't been caught one in one in November or December. We are December. I think November still fall. So close. We are so close to the top. I do think this one and this one's going to be the top. Because, yeah, one more, we're going to be perfect. It's actually going to work out. The stairs won't be here all the time. I am going to adjust it. So I'm going to probably tear all these out, start on this side with the stairs, and then build them coming up, and then hopefully it meets up at the top. Oh, so close. Only a few more trips to the top. Oh yeah, that one was fast. We getting faster. Hey, glad those connected. I mean, they should have connected. Oh, 
grandpa that was like huge to be able to meet up at the top perfectly first try and i mean not really perfectly there we go we fall down had to talk smack that i was going so fast then in time these will probably get torn out so i can have a room up here not really sure what i'm gonna do build our wall Got planks, so I don't need to refill on them. And then the top's gonna be two by. I think that's what we figured out last on the last episode. One final piece. Then we get all hooked up. <laughs> now I can't do it. Trying to rush. Fast up. Over, over. Can't get the over, over. And now we are at the peak. So I think that this one here, right, it's going to be another two flat area. So this is going to be the peak of the pyramid. And I do like being able to see everywhere. I thought about building a bridge all the way to over there from the top of the pyramid. I think that would be pretty cool, but that's going to be a lot of material. And how am I going to get all this material up if I do end up doing that? So I might not do that. So yeah, probably on tomorrow's episode, we'll work on getting up to the top here because I really, really want to get to the top. And then when we live stream on Monday, then I think I'll work on the other side. So then you guys can see the completion of the four sides. And then it's just basically building the bottom, building the next floor, going up. Not really sure how I'm going to do it. What's the most efficient way? But I can't wait to get this done and completed, get those extractors inside, have a forging site inside, and then open up our pyramid extractor. Okay, let's go ahead, head back to base. Okay, so we got our copper, aluminum, rocks. I'm probably going to forge these up, get them in their shells, start probably getting more irons because we need more irons as always. So that's again homework. I do want to start chopping up all this wood here, probably straighten out this area, maybe put everything against our corral all the wood logs because I do have to get ready for our live stream on Monday and that will be on Monday December 14th at 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and the plan for that live stream I do want to build our log shed and so we'll have a couple 
circular saws in there. I might have like maybe even three circular saws. I know I said I liked moving the circular saw to the different sites, but I kind of want to have a place where we do have just all our logs are going to be all our plank holders. And this one is going to be very, very big and very long. I'm going to try to make it as long as possible. I am really unsure of what I'm going to do for tomorrow's episode. So as I'm chopping down all these wood and putting them away, then I'm going to decide on what I actually want to have tomorrow's episode be. And like I said, I'm going to go work on a secret project in tomorrow's episode for sure, because I do want to get that third side up and show you guys that third side. Hey guys, and with that, this will complete our episode for today. Thanks again for watching this infected episode. We will see you on the next video.